In this economy, um, so many practice owners are terrified of putting their prices up, uh, and uh, quite rightly so. I mean, people are more price sensitive than they've ever been. You know, the, the British public is getting used to not having as much money as they used to have. Uh, they're getting used to their job not being as secure. They're getting used to the, the economy being knackered. The point being, you can actually put your prices up, but you need to know which prices can be put up and which can't. Depending on the market you're in and depending on how competitive your competitors are, it can be risky to put up the price of your eye test. It's the most one of the most public uh, prices you've got. And in these days where Tesco's and Asda are giving away eye tests for nothing, maybe that's not the right thing to do. Um, it's certainly risky to put up the price of frames. You know, anything that is a commodity product that can be sold online, and that includes most frames, um, someone somewhere in the world will sell it for less than you can sell it in your practice. Not all of your clients are price sensitive, but everyone has price sensitive clients who look at frames they like, and there and then in the practice, they're on their iPhone looking up how much they can buy it online. The one price rise that you can make, which 99% of your clients won't notice, is actually it's in the lenses. If you think about how most um, glasses per specs purchasing is done in a practice by patients, uh, in most practices they pick the frames first, then they pick the lenses to go in the frame. So they look around at the frames, they pick some they like, and they say, yes, I'll have these please. Then they sit down to discuss the lenses. And uh, most clients don't know how much lenses cost. They haven't got a clue how much lenses cost. And so if you were to right now, and you can do this literally today, you can do it tomorrow morning, put one pound on the price of every single lens you sell. Just up all of your lens prices by just one pound. Because you haven't had to see a, a cost rise from the lens suppliers, Every time you sell a lens now, that's a pound extra profit. And that money will drop straight to the bottom line. To, 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 it will become extra profit for you. And if you think how many lenses you sell over a year, that can add up to thousands of pounds over the year. And most of your clients won't notice. Do you know what? Most of your staff won't notice either. That's just the new cost of those lenses. Now, don't go greedy on this. Don't go adding 10 pounds. If it's something's too expensive, people start to downgrade their lenses. You don't want to do that. But most people don't see the difference between 70 pounds and 71 pounds, or 79 pounds and 80 pounds. And actually, there's a school of thought that a lens price shouldn't be a nice rounded price anyway. Your, the cost of your lenses should be 73 pounds 57 uh, in terms of the retail cost, because actually that feels more natural to the client, to the patient, like you're passing on the price of the lens with just a little profit margin added in. So, an action for you right now, add one pound to your lens prices. No one will notice except you, and your accountant and your bank manager in a very positive way.